Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're taking a look at some of the nicknames you guys put in the comments. That's right, since uh, Harry and Megan, we will no longer be referring to them as that. Since they are desperately wanting their privacy, we decided to change their identities to give them just that. So we're going to take a look at all the suggestions you guys made in the comments in a previous video where I asked you for your favorite nicknames for these two and Boy, did you guys deliver. Lots of funny ones to take a look at. I'm so excited. My personal favorites are Hank and Skank and Harold and Fraud, but there are so many others that are so much fun. Okay, let's jump right on in and take a look. So Catherine writes Ginger and Nutmeg. I actually had a ton of people write in with these names. These are so good. I love them so much. Leslie writes, Slither and Dither is my favorite because when she walks, it's very much like a snake and he just dithers around behind her. That's so good. Barbara Miller writes, the English people refer to Harry as the dim-witted prince. I love this so much. I had actually made a Harry Potter cover a while ago and called him the half-witted prince. Dim-witted prince is perfection. Kashtik says, I call him Butt Nugget. It just makes me laugh every time. Well, it makes me laugh too. Lisa says she prefers greedy and needy. Pam, this one really struck me funny. Disturbing and disgusting of Monty Shit Show. I could actually use those names interchangeably because at some point they each hit me as both of these things. Daniel is referring to them as the Ginger Winger and Me Gang. All right, HRH Princess calls them, I like Hank and Skank, Harry's first wife, Mega Liar. I think all those are great. Janet calls them the Duke and Duchess of Deceit. Also, <laughs> Half Wit and Migraine. Diane points out that Trevor Colt refers to them as the hostage and the handler, which she thinks is brilliant, and so do I. And Orchid says that she likes to call them the suck asses. Yes, we do the same thing. It's so much fun. And I love this detail so much. She likes to call Megan Harry's wife because not saying her name would really piss her off so much. Yes, that's such a good point. Ains Island points out that George and the Giant Slayer refers to them as the hater and the hustler. Chai Gurley says, I don't know who said it, but someone called her Our Lady of Perpetual Victimhood. Oh my God. That's so good. That's perfect for her. Linda writes, the Gruesome Twosome is one of my favorite and apt pet names for the Gruesome Twosome. I recently talked about how much Jay and I love Always Sunny, and there's an episode where Frank just keeps yelling, Gruesome Twosome, Gruesome Twosome. So anytime I see that, that's the voice I hear that in. We have Donna, who calls him Todger, and is the queen called her evil? So M. Friday liked it when I, and I had several people write this, when I called him a beady-eyed Muppet. Sometimes when I'm recording, it's like, it's, it truly is like I'm just having a conversation with you. I don't pre-plan what I'm going to say. So things just pop up and I feel like I black out and I say these things. And then sometimes you guys quote them back to me and I find myself kind of laughing like, did I really say that? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's truly how I feel. You're getting my like stream of consciousness. So yeah, Beady-Eyed Muppet was one of them where it just came out and I think it perfectly fits him. Is a Bird said she prefers Walmart Wallace. I love that name too. I saw that on the, I think it was the St. Meghan Markle Reddit. And it really strikes me funny because you know that pisses her off. You guys, Harsh Pigment writes, I love Duchess Sucksticks. <laughs> for her nickname. Oh my god, it's I've not heard that one. Daisy says Friar Harry, self-explanatory. So yeah, that is funny. That one has popped up quite a bit lately, especially with these court appearances because of um a certain hairline he's in denial he's in denial about. Carol points out that she likes to refer to them as Todger and Cream. Carol, that is brilliant. I've definitely called him Todger. I didn't even think about the cream thing. That's perfect. Ginge and Winge. So I had not heard of Winge until all of this came out. It's just not a, it's not something I'm familiar with, but it, it's perfect. And it really, it's, it's a funny, I love it. I love the play on words there. So Inti calls them one of my new favorite nicknames, Candle and Feather. I hope you understand that reference, but in case you don't, of course, Candle from was I believe it was the Queen's funeral and then Feather, of course, from Coronation covering his face. So Candle and Feather, um, Harold and Mother, Professional Victim 1 and Professional Victim 2, 
Harry and his mother wife. <laughs> Those are all so good. Thank you, Indy. And then Barbara points out another nickname I've heard for them recently that I love so much. Mr. and Mrs. South Parkle. And then Mango calls them Handbag and the Claw. Oh my God, <laughs> it's so good. Meg likes to refer to them as Hasbald and me again, which is perfect as she points out because Megan gave that speech in that gold um, what mattress cover dress, whatever. <laughs> what is it? Heat protectant glove dress, you know, uh, where she gave the speech all about herself. Marcel likes to refer to Harry as the boy who cried wolf. And then Deborah points out that one time she mistakenly referred to them as Mary and Hagen, and it just kind of stuck. I like that very much as well, Deborah. Tanya likes to refer to them as stash and trash because he's been sporting that sometimes, that stupid facial hair. But uh, she said even when he's clean, clean shaven, she still calls him that. That's perfect. Hey, okay. Elaine brought it on this one. She came with a list of names that she's heard from some of her favorite YouTubers. Ready? The Hostage and the Handler, Duchess of Deceit, Montecito Morons, Montecito Muppets, Duchess Doolittle, Duke of Do Nothing, Prince ha- <laughs> Hair Plugs, the P- Prince of Pink Pancakes, and the Duke and Duchess of Sausages. Oh my God, those are all so good. Okay, SM writes, thought of this after his court shenanigans, Tin Foil Hat Prince. SM, you have no idea how perfect this is and how funny this is striking me. So side note is... On Twitter, the sugars have been coming after me. It's fine. I don't care. Um, But uh, I just, I usually just block and don't even pay attention. But I have started calling them tinfoil hat. Because some of the stuff they write on there about me wanting Harry just really makes me laugh. Also, bleh. Okay, then we have Miss L, which calls them Harry and Harry's wife, thanks to H.G. Tudor. I love H.G. Tudor. I'm... I've kind of watched him off and on, but I'm getting more into him. And I've been watching the series of when he met Harry's wife. Anybody else dying to know what that guy looks like? I mean, I really am. (laughs) His voice is very sexy. I'm just very curious. I picture him very handsome, distinguished looking Englishman. I just wondered, anybody else obsessed about that? No, just me. I love this one so much. Shira, you really gave me a laugh with this one. Shira writes... Personally, when I refer to them, I call them the bagels. It started when I, instead of Harry and Megan, I accidentally said Harry and bagel. I don't know why this struck me so freaking funny, but it did. I'm still, you can hear my voice, I'm still laughing about that. The idea of mixing up her name and calling her bagel is perfect. I love a good bagel, except for when they don't have anything on them, when they're just plain and they don't have any butter or cream cheese or whatever you like to put on it. It's very plain. So I think that's perfect. The bagels. I am so sorry. I will never be able to pronounce your name, but it's beautiful. And they call them the prince and the pole dancer. Foggy Morning calls them has and hurts. I love that name. That's obviously come out recently with the stupid gold dress, but has and hurts is so good. As well as Ginger and Winch, has no balls, Duke of Sausage, Duke of Dope. And who could forget ILBW? And I do have people say, what is ILBW? Just remember, it's from South Park, and it means Instagram loving bitch wife. And then Queen Red Special brings us Walmart Wallace, as well as Woco Mono. I also heard Woco Mono not terribly long ago. I put it in a thumbnail. I could not stop. I could not stop laughing about that. And then people wrote in saying, at least Yoko has some talent. <laughs> So I love this. Jill likes to refer to M as the gold digger and H as the wallet. I thought I'd heard them all. I have not heard this one. Glenn is calling them the spender, Megan, and the spent, Harry. Perfect. Okay, you're back again. I'm going to take a crack at your name. I hope I get it right. Is it Cloda? It refers to him as dazed and confused and her as arrogant and rude. <laughs> so good. Thank you. And then Jane calls them Skid and Mark. EMV calls them Has and Has Been. And the South Parkles is her new favorite. You guys, Ida came up with a brilliant name. She's been calling her the Tangerine Tart, referring to Overblusher or Bronzer. (laughs) 
It's so good. So Beth let me know, is it supposed to be Lady C or is it Lacey C? I only ask because I haven't heard of Lacey and I'm always looking for new YouTubers. So let me know who it is. But anyway, has been calling Omid Scoby Mid Scabies. I think that's perfection. And then Aiden Shannon writes, Ginger and Gingerella, Egypt and Bigger Egypt, Frog and More Frog in reference to Frogmore. That's great. Schwarzapal, I hope I said that right, says that they love to call Harry Smicko, which is a mug, uh, sorry, a mix of smug and thicko. She calls Megan Meghin, and then together she calls them the puke and turdess of sausages. Lindsay calls them has no balls and methane or numb nuts and Munchausen. <laughs> so good. David likes to call Meg Hag Oral Princess in honor of her memorable performance in her 90210 scene. Diane likes to call them Dumb and Dumber. Harry's got to be Dumber. I love that name. I actually refer to them as that quite a bit. Dumb and Dumber or Dumb and Dumber 10 because it's just so fun. <laughs> Shanty calls them the puke and pukes of suspect. And then Tanya calls them has no balls and migraine, Duke and Duchess of Sausages, Montecito Grifters, as well as the Montecito Morons. BBE likes to call them Yacht Girl and Todger. So this one struck me really funny. Clairvoyant calls her the Queen of Returns and knowing what we do about the way her clothing fits and never ever getting anything tailored or altered it appears so. So that actually really makes sense to me. SD calls them has no balls and megalomaniac. I love the name megalomaniac for her. Did a melodramatic video about her. I have in my notes to go back and do. I need to do one a megalomaniac of her. I think that would be that would pretty much write itself, right? Timia calls them Boldy Locks and Mega Toe slash Voldemeg. And then just uh, learned about Toxic Todger. I have not heard Toxic Todger. That's great. You guys, Diane calls them Baldo and Bicho. <laughs> it's those simple ones that are straight to the point that really get me. Baldo and Bicho. And then is it Tamar? I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> right. It's Queen of Hurts. Flora points out what a lot of you guys call her mattress actress. <laughs> Nutmeg, chicken legs, has been, Sperry, blue todger, me gain. Robbie points out um, their favorite names are the old classics, village idiot, clown prince, and has been. Andrea likes to call them the Duke and Duchess of Dreary, and it sounds like it was maybe called that by Daisy Cousins. Sandy points out that somebody was calling them the hustler and the hater. Those are great names as well. Jennifer likes to refer to them as cringe and minge. Angie likes to call them Pinocchio 1 and Pinocchio 2 and points out now that Dory is tagging along, she's Pinocchio 3. So Linda really likes Winger and Ginger, but now likes to call them Traitor and the Tramp. Pat likes to call them Snake and Fake, as well as the Dumb Fartons. I love a petty put down, so I'm all for the Dumb Fartons. Don likes to call them horrid and methane. Joanna likes to call them <laughs> hairless and mega mouth. Patricia likes to call him a condescending prick. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That fits. Bridget has some excellent names for them, including Hash and Mash, Hophead and Mophead, Hapless and Mapless, Todger and Dodger. Those are all excellent names. Texas Pelican calls them Migraine and Hemorrhoid. How did I not think of calling Harry hemorrhoid? That's excellent. Misha likes to refer to them as hag and drag. Lil Cajun Queen calls them the D-list actress and the D-list prince. Hervoyant likes to call them Thicko and the village bicycle. I called her that in a video, one of those AI videos recently. <laughs> it made me laugh. Amy likes to call them Judas and Jezebel, which is perfect. Susan calls them Thicko and Bimbo. Oh, Miranda, you really made me laugh with this one. She likes to call them Rugburn Rachel and the Ginger Knob. <laughs> Susan likes to call them Walmart Wallace, the South Parkles, and the Olive Garden. The Olive Garden, I believe you guys pointed out, was it the, now I'm already forgetting, was it the Royal Grift, I believe, that called it that? Their house is perfect. Claire likes to call them the Wicked Witch of the West Coast, which is one that I just learned about and love so much, and the Juggling Court Jester Clown. That's perfect.
Jane Jan likes to call them the the Duke and Duchess of Sus. That's perfect. Helen, you're so clever. Helen likes to call them has been and calls her Mystic Meg as she regularly channels Diana. That's so good. Judith calls them Harold and Megan. The Harkles, Harry Harkle, call me Duchess, you've been markled. And then Bee's Knees wrote this, and yeah, it's not a nickname, but when I was putting this list together, I could not stop laughing over it. She said, I preferred when Harry's lawyer was doing his tiger show in Vegas. <laughs> so good. Google Harry's lawyer if you don't know what we're talking about. I said he looks like the boss... Uh, was it Douglas off of uh, IT Crowd? Judy pitched some names that I love. How about Unaware and Weary? Perfect. Christine says that she calls them H and Mimi, as in, look at me, me. Perfect. And is it pronounced Sean, I think? And it's Bunker Harry in the Mattress. Kelly Cat refers to them as Dupe Dope and the Duchess of Doom, as well as the Spare and the Honeypot. <laughs> Pantone got me with this one and calls <laughs> calls Harry not the sharpest nut <laughs> in the turd. Ew. And also hilarious. Oh my god. Anne calls them <laughs> the yank and the plank. Abbott Socks calls them the prince and princess of darkness. Anita calls them prince has no balls and the harpy. Anna says Smeg because of what Smegma actually is. Jim points out his favorite nickname, the Duke and Duchess of Not Muchness. Kate says that her favorite is the Montecito Mudslingers. Anne's favorite name for them, Has and Spaz. David calls, <laughs> calls him Slaphead and her the Slapper. I love this one so much, Stephanie. Stephanie says she came up with the nicknames Hemorrhoid and Pile because they're both a pain in the butt. And I had to end on a strong one. Jay says we should just refer to them as Chelsea's ex and his wife. You guys, that would make them nuts. And so I'm here for that. You guys, I had so much fun with this video. I read all of your comments and I got to tell you, I laughed my way through the list. There were so many to choose from. If you didn't see yours on here, it doesn't mean I didn't get a huge kick out of it. I love all of your submissions. All of your suggestions were brilliant. Um, I'd heard a lot of them, but you still managed to surprise me with a lot of these. So thank you all so much for taking the time to write. I actually have enough to keep going. So if you want another video like this, please let me know in the comments. I welcome it. And if there's something else that you've heard of recently, leave that in the comments as well, because these nicknames are so much fun. But as always, thank you so much for being here. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if you want to further support the show, be sure to check out the merch. Make it make sense. I do have Hank and Skank on some stuff, so check that out. Also, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.